a lifeline is thrown. Clasping her dog, she takes the plunge into the torrent of flood water. She's tied herself to the rope, but can't keep hold of the dog, and it's swept away. Astonishingly, she has the strength to cling on, and she's hauled to safety. A rare tale of rescue as storms batter Brazil. So intense was the rain that huge scars were torn in the hillsides. The flimsy housing no match for the power of the floods. Overcrowding has long made these communities vulnerable. Mudslides strike all too often. The aftermath reveals tragedy after tragedy. A team of firefighters engulfed by the mud as they try to help. Cracks are heard in buildings and people hurry to get away. This woman fled to her granddaughters but now fears that that may be in danger too. There have been some successes. Jubilation when a baby is found alive in the wreckage and carried to safety. The baby's father was also saved, but its mother is feared dead. The rainfall in Brazil was extraordinary. A month's worth, 144 millimeters, fell in 24 hours. And scientists are investigating possible links to other floods. In Queensland, where 25,000 homes were affected, the rains were triggered by a weather pattern in the Pacific called La Nina. That's likely to be intensifying the heavy rains in Sri Lanka, where more than 300,000 people are displaced. The Sri Lankan military have launched a huge rescue operation. The flooding has hit vast areas in the remote east of the country. This region was also hit by the tsunami of 2004. Now Sri Lanka faces a new disaster as villages are cut off and as much as one-fifth of the country's rice crop has been destroyed. Worst of all, more rains are forecast.